but this time I'm going to start this off with a banger because guess who joined the fun? Nicholas. God, what the hell? I've never been one one against cussing on my channel before. Nicholas fucking cage. This guy has such massive drip that he's he's bound to drip on my channel. So hey, dude, if you like Nicholas Cage, give this channel a thumbs up. I got him for all of us. It keeps life amusing. So shall we? Uh, shall we go? And for the record, I uh, did up my control. Well, why don't I just show y'all what my controls are? And then I'm going to have to figure out whether or not I have to remap my controls or whether they're just fine. <laughs> like, sort of like the Survivor. Okay. Like, when you have killers that crouch and have dashes, uh, L2 is like the dash and L1 is like the crouch. So I switched to Survivors that way. Um... The first power is on L2, and the secondary power is on L1, so I uh, decided to not only switch those, but put the uh, power activations on those same buttons like you were playing the killer. <sighs> okay, it needs to say, like, with something like Nicolas Cage's power, it involves using two, two buttons that I assign to the same button. So... <clears throat> So this is going to get interesting. Either it's going to naturally work into itself, or I'm going to have to completely change my whole button layout. So, here we go. Crossing fingers now. <laughs> it's just because I'm that anal, you know, I wanted like the controls for the killers and the survivors to, ma to match up. It just wasn't, you know, I wanted to, I want to go control-wise from killer to survivor without filling any hitch in the road. And them having complete, almost completely different controls is a major hitch in the road. That's it. I want to transition from survivor to killer and back again to be seamless. Like you were just switching hands as an ambidextrous should be fine. Natural. <clears throat> so let's start this stream by speaking of like, you know, like a bedtime story. Once upon a time, boys and girls, in the world we live in this very day, there was once a, a man who, uh, there was, uh, there was, there was, there arose such a Chad who overflew, uh, who overflowed with mad drip. And his name was, Nic was Nicholas Cage. He did many things from raising Arizona to Willie's Wonderland, which proved that he didn't even have to say a single word just by being on camera, he makes that shit pop. It's great. That's how it's like the aura of cool just emanates from this man. You've seen him in Mandy. You've seen him in Color Out of Space. Color, uh, Color Outside of Space. You've seen him. In, seen him in Mom and Dad. You know that movie I always reference here on, or I always reference here online about how the Sawzall, it Sawzall. Well, guess who invented that one? This guy. How could this be any fun? Because he's that cool. It's, really it's, it's almost like a, a Dragon Ball Z abridged moment where like, you will quote everything I say. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> He can take anything and make it a catchphrase because it's like, he's just that cool. And I've noticed something else too. Ow. Oh yeah, wait, I noticed something else too about the guy. Um, everyone, like even like Ash Williams and shit like that. Um, uh, licensed survivors, you know, they come in as a character. Um, Bruce Bruce Campbell didn't come in as Bruce K 
Campbell, he came in as Ash Williams. But, you know, uh, Nicolas Cage, I realized, he could have come in as any one of his roles, you know, as uh, Dracula, as, you know, uh, the purple guy you know, <clears throat> from Willy's Wonderland. Come on, y'all didn't catch that. Anyway, <laughs> you know, the purple guy from uh, Willy's Wonderland and shit like that. But no, he came in as Nicolas Cage. He's so cool, he just had to come in as, as, himself, as himself. He is his own character. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like, hey, can you, like, you know, be in this game for us? It's like, all right, uh, what role uh, did you like? I'm like, no, actually, we want you to just be you. Like, uh, really? <laughs> okay. I mean, none of us are going to be asked that. How famous are you? <laughs> we need you to come into a game. Well, okay, never mind. There was the Fred Durst incident where, like, some games had to have Fred Durst in them for a while. Like, there was a specific wrestling game to where, like, you know, uh, one of the characters you're going to unlock is fucking Fred Durst. You know, that was a thing. I feel like I'm gonna break some shit tonight. Ugh. It's kind of fitting though for wrestling. Like, yeah. Oh my god, my heart rate is my my heart rate skyrocketing. But you know he's Nicolas Cage. He'll be alright. He's a total Chad. Okay, Let's see, how do I activate this power? I am I'm gonna have to change my heart rate. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, because it's on the same button. Fuck. Well, I can't, I can't be a, ra a, a rage quitter or a uh, dc -er, so I'm just going to keep going with it. I mean, it's not like uh, other, the other players follow that I goofed, so don't punish them for it. Just uh, keep going. Because, you see, when we disconnect and stuff, even from stuff like that, you know, we're screwing with other people's games, too. Don't do that. Just wait till the next rest stop. Then fix your shit. <laughs> and I thank you. Oh, no. We're all going to die. Oh, dear. Shut up. Oh hell! Peace! I'm not up your alley. Right. 
they'll stay back in there. Ow. No, no, no. Those, ow, they'll stay back in there. Ow. That's just going to chase like the dickens. Right up Main Street. in my stable or else I'd be making a, uh, weren't we, uh, wasn't that, uh, wasn't that quite the pickle dick kind of jokes would I be making, but, yeah, I have no Richards. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd be making a dad pun right now. I got dad puns and grandpa jokes all day. <clears throat> I think someone found deer sign. Do deer poop in the woods? So, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Uh, you never should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. Now look what you did. <laughs> you don't blow it now, Buster. about more way more than other actors about doing indie movies. In other words, he's an indie filmer's best friend. He's that cool of a dude. And like, you know, the 
I only do one take and I only need I will only work for so many millions. Sometimes he's done some work pro bono, I hear. He's that kind of well reasonable. He's been way more reasonable than other actors with uh in independent movie makers, you know, the kind of people that otherwise wouldn't have seen the light of day, but it's like, yeah, he's like, I'll give your movie a shot. Because he's that cool. <laughs> he's like the steam of actors. He's great for indie work. And he has a fun time doing it too. I mean, I've heard he's like one of those actors. He's like great on set. Everyone loves him there. Just a total chat all around. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, ever since Elvis the Alien, I had to do my homework, you know. But, <clears throat> just how cool? Yep, this guy is that cool. <clears throat> like, uh, a lot of the craziest movies that Nicholas Cage has done, you know, reviewed by Elvis the Alien. I was like, you know what, this is some cool shit. I love this guy. And, uh, a lot of those B movies and independent movies that he's helped with, I just, I don't know, charisma. It just takes a kind soul to like do that for like, what is kind of essentially a nobody in comparison. Just kind of think. It's a really cool person. How many actors would do that for like someone who's like starting out or like who's like a struggling artist just trying to get a script off the ground? Really? Without, I mean, without exorbitant, exorbitant amounts of money. Right? Is it like, well, we spent, I spent my whole budget just hiring this actor. I mean, everything else I had to skip on. Oh, He's, he's, not like, he's not gonna like cripple the whole movie just to hide out his house. I'm not making this shit up, I mean, seriously. I mean, Elvis the alien did have the, have the research for me. spent his kill token on me. Aww. I am feeling the love right now. <laughs> he, he, he spent his kill token on me. Oh, thank you. I mean, you really know the spirit of what this game is all about. Cheers, sir. That was cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> you re I got rescued from the hook just to be personally murdered. <sighs> and you can't just do that for free. You gotta have a kill token. So he spent a kill token on precious little me. I just, I, oh, I feel the love right now. <clears throat> the psychopathic love, you know. You gotta be a psychopath to understand. Bully for you, sir. <laughs> this turned out to be a fine stream. Normally, this is where I would introduce myself, but I've been um, going through a rebranding lately. Myself, what destiny always had said I should call myself Dr. Death. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, boys and girls, you may call me Dr. Death. I'm here to serve you. A heaping load of death. <laughs> cages here. Cool. Alright, let's go, twin. And we're even wearing exactly the same outfit and duds and everything. We could, like, be each other's decoy. We could, like, really fuck with a killer like this. Oh my god, this is gonna be really true. Now, if you could, like, catch my cues and shit like that, and, like, oh my god. <laughs> Well, this should be interesting. Ugh. I can say this, life is, the human race and life is never boring. Even when you want it to be. <clears throat> That's like, you know, it's your day off from work, you're chilling on the couch, and then a truck just explodes outside your door, but you can't hear it because our house is soundproof. Like, what do you mean, truck exploding? Come again, sir. <sighs> no, that puts a real damper on trying to look out for the neighborhood if you can't hear shit that's happening in the neighborhood. It's... <clears throat> Uh, 
fucking weird. Alright, Nick. We can do this, buddy. We can do this. It's what you do, bro. in the head with my stick, with my stick. Ah! Oh god, my head. <laughs> Headaches with pictures are bad. Yeah, at least it's side ago. If someone's gonna kill me, at least it's her, you know, because she deserves her revenge. What happened to her just fucked up. Her step one was a bitch. <sighs> I mean, I get it, you know, things aren't working out, but dude, throw her down the well. You are a particular kind of bitch. To throw your even stepdaughter down the well. What the fuck is wrong with you? Give her back to the agency. What the fuck? And it's not working out here. You didn't have to kill her and shit. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Oh! That was my, that was my oh! Jacob's thing. Oh! Or, uh, call me Christ or a guy about it. What the fuck is wrong? Gerald. You know, Comedy Christ, the guys that usually did the soundtrack for Devil May Cry. Them cats, bruh. Their shit's, I think, I think their shit slapped good and hard. It was like, uh, although it sounded more cyberpunk. Devil May Cry, but it got, it had grit. Had a certain grind to it, you know. Nope! Ah! Oh, yeah! You got me, but I got you. Like a total jerk. Ah! Nah, 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 nah. Ah! Nope, nobody here. Ah! Oh, no! Nope. Oh shit, I'm trapped. Ah! I I did that on purpose. Ah! Oh man. Okay, I was hurt. Ah, yeah, I'm changing it back. I don't think it has a consequence. Ah! I don't want it to be seamless, so if I don't have to change it. Oh my god. I 
live. Suck it, fate. Find out where she is nearest and just say fuck that hook. Watch this. Like a total jerk. Watch this. Do it, do it, do it. Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. No hook, bitch. This is really going to hurt now. No, no, no. How is it that people are so good at looking behind them and they can still be able to run like they do? Because I, I have a hard time doing both. I can either look behind me or I run ahead. Trying to do both gets me killed even quicker. Is it a, like a lack of a skill set? You know, so to speak. Something like lacking in my skills. Which is one of those things. To really really bad luck because I keep running into shit looking behind me. All those silly sounds, you know, if there was an option for like a rear view camera. Hmm. Is there like a rear view will there ever be a rear view? Just a flesh wound. I'm okay, really. Hmm. Now having to retrieve your dick from a wood chipper, that sticks with you. <laughs> I know that was awfully specific, but just don't think about it too hard. The YouTube algorithm says that those kinds of conversations are not safe for the workplace. <laughs> so I right hear. Moving on. Nicolas Cage movie I should, out of like the entire Nicolas Cage movie binge which one should I start with there's just so many I mean you can't make me choose I mean it, I, I can't make me choose My mom and dad is pretty cool like I said that's where I get Sawzall and Sawzall because this guy, you know, so you, you guys got to make the choice for me. I can't, I can't choose. It's like, I wouldn't even know where to begin and then I'll never get it done. So out of the whole Nicolas Cage movie binge, where should I start? Put your votes in the comments. 
and I swear to God I'm gonna get to those. I mean it this time. For real. I'm not kidding. I promise. <clears throat> swear to my God and hope to live. Don't think about it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh -huh. Maybe should. Ooh, maybe should be this one. Although, um, this one should be interesting. Time to test it. Do 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 do. And me. 